In this video, we will be working on how to calculate limiting reagent questions. For this first calculation, it says 50.0 grams of water is added to 43.0 grams of sodium to produce sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. How many molecules of hydrogen gas are produced from this reaction? We can identify that this is a limiting reagent type question because we are given two limited quantities of reactant. This means that what we will need to do is we will need to work out what the stoichiometric ratio of the reactants is and work out which of the following reactants does not have enough mass to complete this following reaction. So we begin by writing out our equation. Water, H2O, plus sodium, metal, which is solid, produces sodium hydroxide, this is an aqueous state, and hydrogen gas. Now that our equation is balanced, we can see that the ratio of water to sodium hydroxide is 1 to 1. This means that the number of moles of water which are going to produce moles of sodium hydroxide is in a 1 to 1 ratio. The number of moles of water is going to be equal to the mass which is 50.0 grams divided by the molar mass which is 1.008 which is the mass of hydrogen times 2 plus 16.00 which is the molar mass of oxygen. This is going to give us a value of 2.77 moles. Similarly, the number of moles of sodium is going to be equal to 43.0 divided by 22.99 and that will give us a value of 1.87 moles. Since there are more moles of water than sodium, sodium must be our limiting reagent. This means that only a maximum of 1.87 moles out of the 2.77 moles of water are able to react. From here, we can see how many moles of hydrogen gas can be formed for each mole of sodium. Since there is a 1 to 2 ratio of hydrogen to sodium, this means that exactly half the number of moles that have reacted of sodium metal are going to be pre-produced as hydrogen gas. This means the number of moles of hydrogen gas is going to be half the number of moles of sodium metal, and that is going to be equal to 0.2. 935 moles. And this is our answer. In this question, 2 moles of nitric acid is added to a 50 gram sample of magnesium carbonate. How many molecules of carbon dioxide are produced from this reaction? We need to recognize that this is an acid and carbonate type reaction, meaning that there is going to be the formation of carbon dioxide, salt, and water. Nitric acid has the formula HNO3 and because it is an acid, it is in the aqueous state. Magnesium carbonate has the formula MgCO3, and from this, we produce the salt magnesium nitrate, MgNO32, and water, and CO2 gas. We can add a 2 in front to balance our equation. So the stoichiometric ratio is 2 to 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. However, again, because there is a limited value for both nitric acid, which is 2 moles, and magnesium carbonate, which is 50 grams, we need to work out which of our reactants is the limiting reagent. To calculate this, we are going to work out how many moles of magnesium carbonate we have. The number of moles of magnesium carbonate, so the N of MgCO3, is going to be 50 grams divided by the molar mass, which is 24.31 plus 12.01 plus 16 times 3, and that is going to give us a value of 0 0.593. Since the ratio is 2 to 1 for nitric acid to magnesium carbonate, 2 and 1, we need to have at least 1 mole of magnesium carbonate to react with the entirety of the 2 moles of nitric acid. Since we do not have enough magnesium carbonate to fully react to the nitric acid, this means that magnesium carbonate must be our limiting reagent. So the number of moles of magnesium carbonate reacting is 0 0.593, and the stoichiometric ratio of carbon dioxide to magnesium carbonate is 1 to 1, meaning that we will also have an N of CO2 being equal to the N of MgCO3, and that equals to 0 0.593. The number of molecules is what is asked for in the question. So this means we are going to need to multiply this number by Avogadro's number. So molecules equals to 0 0.593 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and that will give us 3.57 times 10 to the 23 molecules. And we're giving our answer to three significant figures. This limiting reagent question involves working with concentration. 
10 grams of solid sodium hydroxide is added to 100 milliliters of a 2 mole per liter solution of hydrochloric acid to produce sodium chloride and water. How many moles of water are produced? We begin as usual by writing out our equation to know what the stoichiometric ratio of reactants and products are. Sodium hydroxide is solid and is reacted with hydrochloric acid. This is going to produce water and our salt. The equation has already been balanced and the stoichiometric ratio is 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. The number of moles of sodium hydroxide can be calculated by dividing 10.0, which is the mass, divided by the molar mass, which is 22.99 plus 16 plus 1.008. And if we calculate that, that is going to give us a value of 0 0.250 moles. The number of moles in the solution of hydrochloric acid is going to be calculated by using the formula C equals to N over V. The concentration of hydrochloric acid is given to us as 2 moles per litre, and the volume is given by 100 milliliters. So we can work out the number of moles of hydrochloric acid by rearranging a formula such that N equals to C times V. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.1, which is litres, 100 milliliters is 0 0.1 litres, multiplied by 2, and that will be 0 0.2 moles. Since there are less moles of hydrochloric acid than the 0 0.25 moles required to completely react with sodium hydroxide, this means hydrochloric acid is our limiting reagent. Since the number of moles of water is equal to the number of moles of hydrochloric acid, because they're in a 1 to 1 ratio, this means the number of moles of water is also going to be 0 0.2 moles. However, we need to give it as 0 0.200 moles in order to give our answer to three significant figures, which is the number of significant figures least given in our question. For this next question, 3 grams of magnesium hydroxide is added to 250 milliliters of water to make a solution. 50 milliliters of that solution is then taken and mixed with 100 milliliters of a 0 0.500 mole per liter solution of hydrofluoric acid and that produces magnesium fluoride and water. How many molecules of water are produced from the reaction? In this question, we should identify again what type of reaction is occurring. It is an acid-based neutralization, whereby we are going to be producing water and salt after mixing our acid, which is hydrofluoric acid, and our base, which is magnesium hydroxide. Beginning by writing out our equation, hydrofluoric acid plus magnesium hydroxide is going to produce magnesium fluoride and water. Balancing our equation, we can identify that the stoichiometric ratio is 2 to 1 to 1 to 2. We can now try to identify our limiting reagent. For magnesium hydroxide, we are given M and we are also given V. Our goal is to calculate how many moles there are in the 50 milliliter solution. To calculate the number of moles of magnesium hydroxide, we begin starting off by working how many moles of magnesium hydroxide there are. N of MgOH2 equals to 3 divided by... 24.31 plus, in brackets, 16 plus 1.008 times 2, which equals to 0 0.0514. The number of moles in the 50 milliliter solution is going to just be one fifth, since we are only taking one fifth of the 250 milliliter solution out of the volume. This means that the number of moles in 50 milliliters equals to 0 0.0514 divided by 5, which equals to 0 0.0103 moles. The number of moles of hydrofluoric acid, however, is going to be calculated differently. We are given V, which is 100 milliliters or 0 0.1 liters. We are given V, which is 100 milliliters or also 0 0.1 liters, and a concentration of 0 0.0500 moles per liter. We know that C equals to N over V, so this must mean that N equals to C times V. And that means that the N of hydrofluoric acid equals to 0 0.1 times 0 0.0500, which equals to 0 0.005. Since we know that the ratio of HF to MgOH2 is 2 to 1, this means that we can have a maximum of 0 0.005 divided by 2 moles of magnesium hydroxide in use. And so our limiting reagent must be HF. Since there are less than, now the number of moles of water which are also going to be formed, if we remember from the stoichiometric ratio, 
must be equal to the number of moles of hydrofluoric acid since they are in a one-to-one -one ratio. The N of H2O equals to the N of HF, which equals to 0 0.005. Now, th this question is not finished because it asks how many molecules of water are being produced. That means that we need to multiply this by Avogadro's number, so molecules equals to 0 0.005 multiplied by 6.022 times 10 to the 23, which equals to 3.01 times 10 to the 21. And make sure that you give your answer as three significant figures, because that is the least amount that is given to us in the question.